Hey there guys, it's Jersey Silverstacker here, and this is a honest review of the LCS that is actually near me called Jersey Coin Showcase. Now this place has a lot of benefits, but it also has its cons as well. Uh, one of the benefits, unlike the other uh, LCS that I reviewed, is that this place is in a, um, it has great parking for it. So it's like in this little like area where it's like by a bowling place that has a restaurant area. Um, and then there's like this, the coin shop, which is like right in the middle of it. Um, so it has tons of parking. So that is a plus. Um, you go into the coin shop and it's a little confusing because it's ran by two people. So what I mean by that is... Um, so it's a family owned business, which I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so it's like either the uncles or the grandparents uh, that own the coin side of it. And then his nephew or his son owns like comic books slash baseball cards, football cards, that kind of stuff. So it's a little confusing on that side of uh, that side because the name of the store is called Jersey Coin Showcase, and I mean, if you're going to label yourself Jersey Coin Showcase, I mean, this is going to be your main focus, but uh, you walk through the door, and this is not your main focus at the moment, because you're crossing um, the one side, which is all like the comic books and baseball cards, so you have to walk past that to get to the coins, and they do have a different like selection of stuff. It's not bullying though. If you're looking for bullying, it's not the place for you. Um, they have like Morgan's Peace Dollars, but I mean, for me personally, the prices are a little up there. Um, if you're looking for like, you know, certain channels, they call it like BU, AU, uh, all that type of like grading, like terminology that I don't understand. But um, I, I guess that hikes up the price uh, the toning and all that, uh, all that stuff. Uh, basically, I don't know, all their prices are hiked up because what they think is BU or gradable that, you know, get that MS-70, uh, thing. But if it's not graded, like, if this isn't, like, it doesn't say MS-70 on it or something like that, then I'm not gonna buy something that you think is MS-70, and then I go degrade it and it doesn't turn out MS-70, then you just bought an overpriced silver piece. But uh, that's just me. Um, they also have junk silver or constitutional silver there. But their prices are not as hiked up as the other place I went to go visit. But their prices are, I think, 23 24 So still pretty high. Um, right now, I could find silver 19 to 20 uh, times face. So, I mean, that's, like, where you really want to, like, I guess, buy. If you can find it lower, that's awesome. But uh, a lot of places I'm noticing are trying to hike up their silver price. Um, I don't know much about gold because, obviously, silver is much cheaper to buy. But um, I'm sure with gold as well that people are trying to hike up the price on that as well. Just so that they can um, get as much premium as they can. But, um... Definitely on the silver, you know, I never had much luck on coins when I went to visit this LCS. But um, sometimes, you know, you pick up one or two things and it's not the best price, but you just go to buy something to support the local businesses. So um, I would rank this coin shop higher than my uh, last visit at that New Hampshire one. I think I ranked the New Hampshire one like a two out of five. I would say this one is maybe like, we'll be generous and say three out of five, just because they do offer different things. Like if you're into comic books and baseball cards and all that stuff, there's a guy for you to check out and he can tell you all information about that. I don't know anything about that, but if you're into grading and coins and stuff like that and uh, have that kind of stuff going on, then you can talk to his... Uh, grandparents or uncles so but if you're looking for mainly like these types of bullion 
it's not the place for you because you're not going to find something like these. You're going to find like, I think it was like Krugerands and ASCs and, but it's not like, you're not going to find it for like $30. You're going to find it for like 33 or $34. And honestly, you could probably find an ASC for $30 or something like that. Um, so hopefully you guys like this little review of the uh, coin shop and uh, catch you guys on the next video. Peace out, everyone.